Right now, welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Michelle here as we are getting all geared up for the big telethon that's yes, coming up this weekend, Michelle. The variety, the children's charity telethon's happening this weekend. Yesterday we had Stan W. Reynolds joined us and uh, talked, and now we are talking with Steve Halschult and Rosalie Gallagher. Thank you for joining Thank us you. here this morning. Thank you. You two are kind of labeled as the top, uh, the VIP fundraisers <laughs> for variety, which is a beautiful thing. So mm -hmm. let's start with you and yeah. uh, kind of just talk about how how you got involved with Variety and um, got to that level. Yeah, so I got asked uh, about 20 years ago to be a VIP or a very interested person to raise money for Variety. Didn't know anything about the organization. Uh, started uh, making a few calls, raising uh, a little bit of money, and then got really connected to uh, what Variety does. And so uh, it's, been a, it's been a second love for me. Um, I was a past uh, board chair a couple of years ago, and right. uh, so you really get deep into the organization and you can see the impact that you have on, on children. It's a, it's a very one-to-one -one type of relationship in terms of the money we raise and how it goes out and directly impacts kids. Now, when kids. you first start raising money uh, for Variety, uh, you said you, you made some phone calls and you yep. started getting the monies coming in. Yep. What type of money uh, were you uh, able to attract when you first started? <laughs> Uh, so the goal of a VIP is to give or get $2,500. Uh, my first year, I don't think I broke $1,500. But every year you just go out and ask and, um, you know, the number one reason people don't give is because they're not asked. And so uh, I've got an opportunity to uh, go out and um, um, make, the, make the, uh, the plea for kids that can't go out and do it on their own. And so every year just asking that same list, building that list and asking them to do a little bit more than they did uh, the year before. And what, what's a, what was a typical uh, donation when you first started? So uh, we have two primary donations, a $52 Miracle Pledge right, exactly, and yeah. uh, double Miracle Pledge of $104. And so uh, most of the, uh, the donations that come through Telethon are Miracle Pledges, they're, they're small amounts, um, but over time you get some large corporate donors that, uh, you know, several thousand dollars at a time. They, yeah. they believe in the mission. Yeah. It's just a matter of asking. That's right. As you mentioned. That's right. You and can't be afraid to ask. And, and combined, it shows here that the total of you, the total that you two have raised is $255,473. Is that for this year? Is that's <laughs> last year okay. alone. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> sure. okay. uh, I'm, I'm always trying to outdo her. It's, it's, it's impossible. Yes. Yeah, Rosalie, what about your journey when you first start raising money for Variety? Well, my journey started in 96 when they asked me to have the cast party. And I knew some people in Variety, but I didn't know everyone. And I was so taken by how passionate everyone was about the mission. Jody and Stan Reynolds, I knew. Right. And... Uh, they they really spurred me on, Margo and Donnie Blumenthal. Yep, yep. This year, our telethon is being dedicated to Jody Reynolds. Of course. Jody was a great friend of mine, became a great friend of mine, and asked me in 97 would I take over her panel for just a few years. She'd still be on it, but uh, we're still doing it, 13 women. And Jody was the first woman president of Variety of Iowa, and later became the first international woman president of Iowa. She was a great woman, and um, she would say, however, this year, get on with it, do it for me, mm -hmm. and so we have challenged our panel to raise another 10% in honor of Jody. So talk, talk a little bit more about the panel and when people can kind of tune in and see this during the telethon. Well, our panel is on at 3 o'clock with happens to be the Reynolds and Reynolds panel also. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be on at 3 o'clock. We always wear sparkly vests. We have a lot of fun. And uh, 13 women, I think since 97, we've raised over $5.5 million. Oh, my dollars. goodness. Is that, a, is that incredible? Congratulations. It's, That's powerful. You just can't... Uh, you, ju you just can't walk away from Variety no. yeah, and, and children. And this is uh, the biggest fundraiser, without question, uh, for Variety in general. Now, uh, you are going to be on, Steve, you're going to be on uh, from the two telethon to as well, but yep. you're going to be on just a, uh, an hour earlier. Yep. So you're the leadoff uh, <laughs> to what Rosalie is well, doing. Okay, you're the she, opening act. She always uh, outdoes us uh, <laughs> every year, so it's, it's better to, to go in and, and get it out of the way. But, yeah, we're on from uh, 2 to 3, and uh, we're largely a, a men's panel. Um, with a uh, heavy emphasis in construction, but uh, right. yeah. 
So uh, we'll be out. Uh, and a lot of the calls and, and those things have been happening as a build-up to Telethon. Uh, Telethon just really culminates the entire variety year, and um, we, we finish, and we wrap up at 6 o'clock on Sunday with uh, what our final tote is for the year. Right, and it's always uh, uh, great to see what the final numbers look like because yeah. really nobody has any idea no. until the very end, Michelle. Kind of yeah. have a little, he talked a little yesterday about you got to have a, a goal, Yeah. but you never really know what, and it's always nice That's to see That's just it, that. and even uh, when you're uh, president that year, you have an idea of coming into what you think telethon's going to be, and it never ends up uh, where you think, and generally it ends up uh, better than you think. So. What are some of the things that you look forward to the most uh, for the telethon itself? It's over a two-day period Yeah. Uh, for those people that haven't checked out the telethon before. What's one of the things you look forward to the most at the telephone? Uh, so for me, um, my hook for variety is our specialized bike program. Mm -hmm. And so we give away a number of specialized bikes to kids that uh, have either uh, physical or cognitive disabilities. And so to see a, a kid get this very expensive, uh, anywhere from $2,500 to $7,500 bike, um, and to see how that can change not only that child's life, but the family's life. And then if they have siblings, uh, they also get a, uh, a regular bike. Um, those are the things that I look forward to. And then when the cast comes back uh, every year, it's, um, it's one of those things that you tend to forget all the things that Variety does. And then when the cast comes in and they're asking questions and, and see uh, what Variety's done the past year, it just reminds you of all the, all the good stuff that uh, goes on throughout the year. Rosalie, Stan yesterday, he kind of mentioned that this is just one of two or three telethons that still remain and that it's really an, an art here in, uh, in Iowa. What do you think is attributed to that, that keeps oh, it alive? Oh, I think the cast, the uh, tenacity of the people involved, uh, people just keep coming back year after year. Tony and Maggie Hatch from London are coming and uh, I told you that's uh, the downtown guy right it's okay. the downtown that's guy the downtown, <laughs> that's right. That's right. okay and uh, anyway I think they love coming back it restores your faith in people every year after the first of the year uh, you look forward to it and I think the cast does yeah. we have a lot of people from Nashville people from around Iowa they come from all over yeah. California Scott Smith will be with us again. He was at the first telethon. Scott is right here in Des Moines and a wonderful man. It's a testament to obviously the quality of the people that are they're working uh, yes. on it and working together as well as the fact, like you mentioned earlier, uh, once, they, once you get involved, you don't stop being involved. Well, in children. Yeah. If you can't be involved with children, mm -hmm. what can you be involved with? Right. Exactly. You, and you mentioned the cast that, that comes back to it. It's almost like a big, big family. It is. Yeah. And you know, to your question about uh, what makes it successful, and Stan's really not going to do it, but the Reynolds family, uh, yeah. Telethon doesn't exist without them. So this will be the 46th year. Uh, if it weren't for the Reynolds family, it wouldn't exist. Uh, it's the single biggest fundraiser we have throughout the year, and so really, it's a it's a credit to the, the Reynolds family and what they started so many years ago. Yeah, glad you said that. We're, we're talking uh, the largest fundraiser raising more than 115 million dollars. Oh, that's correct. To date, uh, which is actually a staggering figure. Yeah, let's remind everybody uh, when and where they can tune in this weekend. There we go. It's uh, February 29th, which is Saturday. Uh, that gets up and going uh, in the evening. They take a little time out for the news at 10 o'clock, and then they come <coughs> back and run till midnight. And then March 1st on Sunday, it's an all-day affair, isn't it? That's right. All day long, uh, starting at 6 o'clock in the morning and run until 6 o'clock at night. And people can go online to varietyiowa.com slash telethon to right. donate. Wonderful. Well, we'll see you guys out there. All right. Okay. Thank Keep you. Keep up the great work. Thank, thank you so you. much for everything. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.